Ready? What's up, you guys? Toolathon. Welcome to Toolathon. We would like to say thank you to Lowe's Pro Services and Southwire. What is Lowe's Pro Services? If you're a pro, you go there, you get the pro services. They got services. All kinds of cool stuff, you guys, that they offer to pros. Um, you know, I don't know off the top of my head everything they offer, but I know they offer tons of stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. They're going to cater to you guys, pretty much. It's just mm -hmm. like going to a, uh, um, like, what's the old days before big box stores when you used to go to, what do they call those? Hardware stores? You know, what they call those where construction guys go. Like, you remember, like, the big, uh, like, seagulls? What was that called? Oh, yeah, like a lumberyard. Yeah, like lumberyard, whatever. Lowe's Post Services will take care of you on that. Yep. You guys, so today on Toolathon, we're going to call this Gadget Edition. Why? Because we got gadgets, lots of gadgets. We're going to talk about stuff. We're going to bring it back an old tool, DeWalp. We're going to talk about Flair, Ryobi, um, either ISO or ISO. Uh, ISO tunes. Yeah. We're uh, and um, Chronolinks. Chronolinks. So we're going to start off with we'll that. We'll start off with this. You guys. A uh, company called KC Tool. If you're on Instagram, you know KC Tool. They're on the forum everywhere. It's the place to go if you live in the States and you want some German-made hand tools. Personally, I don't have that much experience with German-made hand tools up until recently, um, but KC Tool sent these out. and uh, They're quality tools. Yeah, I got to say. They're really nice. This is a Red Bull edition. These are limited edition ones. I'm pretty sure you can still get them. Um, the cool thing about Weira, too, is they come with all bags, but they also come with a piece of Velcro. So if I wanted to stick this Velcro up here, say, I can just have all my tools, like, kind of organized, which is kind of neat mm -hmm. and nifty, you know? Um, but the cool thing about this screwdriver is, you guys, it goes on a belt, is, first of all, the design. Like, I like the design. When you first look at this, you're like, gosh, that's just an oddball design. It is. It does but look like it's unusual. When you're using it, it's just so easy and ergonomic to grip and, and turn. It's really cool. Uh, great thing about this is, like Eric said in an earlier video, we shot this twice, you could uh, push this button here, and it gives you access to all different bits, Phillips bits and flat bits. You close it back up, and right now it's in stubby mode. You hit here. Oh. <laughs> it, did, it shouldn't do that. It did that before. It shouldn't do it, but what the nice thing about that is now you can use it on your impact. Yes. You can use this part on your impact. It shouldn't shoot out like that. In fact, it normally doesn't. It stops. I don't know. I just hit it wrong. I think, are you pushing the black button too at the same time? No. That's why. There's no black button. That black thing doesn't go down? No. No, it's oh, a, yeah, I just right. had it at okay. a weird angle. There's a stop in there. Oh, you're so right. So okay. you hit it and it stops. And it was weird because like we were painting and I was yelling at, uh, so like this, right? So I was down like this, and you know how this comes out? Well, I had it out, and I was using it in the drill and back and forth, and then I couldn't find it, and I spent like an hour running out. I was yelling at Ashley. I'm like, what did you do with the little bit that came out? And it was actually in there. Oh, gotcha. So um, really cool screwdriver, you guys. I'm liking this a lot. I mean, it's a great go-to screwdriver, something to keep on you. Um, if you're into Red Bull, it's Red Bull Racing Formula One branded also. So uh, very cool from Weira. And then what else do we have? Little kit, little adapter kit that you can have. It's got, uh, it's pretty cool. It's nice and compact, but it's got a little wrench on there. Um, you got sockets up here. Push this yellow button in. Access to a whole bunch of different bits that you have. I mean, man, anything from star bits, flatheads, everything. So I don't know. Yeah, I it's mean, it's cool. cool. Like, it's cool to put on your hair. You know, I mean, yeah. obviously, it's not every size in the book. But, but it's got a lot, and it's compact, and it's nice, and everything's right there. Yeah, for a lot of you guys to do precision stuff, stuff like that, I mean, you know, obviously with quarter-inch bits, you're always losing them. Yep. But they seem to hold up in here pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a great little kit to have on you. You can either rotate with the uh, included handle here, or you can use the ratchet, like Eric said. Pretty cool. I bet you had never even heard of Weira yeah, before. Yeah. Dude, I even got the, from my Pepsi. Got a what? bottle opener. Are you serious? Yeah, I wow. carry, carry around with me all the time. And that's actually a nice bottle opener. Look at that bottle opener. I like it. Works great. Yeah, that's actually a really nice yeah. bottle opener. I mean, that's the thing, you guys. I mean, even just looking, I mean, obviously, probably this is, you know, uh, promotional giveaway or something yeah. like that. But, you know, it just kind of gives you an example of what Weir is all about. The nice grip on the end here. And just like these edges are just so nice. I don't know if you guys can see Leave that. Leave it to the Germans. Random. Yeah, I'll try to bring it in. I don't know if you guys are seeing that or not, if not. But it's just really nice, you know. Thanks for the thing, Eric. I appreciate it. Nope, I got Pepsi to open I when I get home. Pepsi. I'm on a diet. So, you guys, KC Tool. KC Tool, definitely mm -hmm. very good people over there. Um, and I think we're going to be giving one of these away also. I think they mentioned. So, okay. you guys, comment. Tell us what you like about Weir, German Tools, KC Tool. 
start a comment going in there and uh, we'll announce in the next couple tool a winner to win some of this stuff. I don't know if you're getting this exact stuff here, but you will be getting some German tools from KC Tool, which will be very cool. Um, what do you want to do next? Go ahead and do that. Are you sure? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's live dangerously. Let's live dangerously. And we got to do the watch too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yep. You guys, Leatherman Shred, right? Um, I don't actually, I don't even have it out here. But the Leatherman Shred is basically a wearable tool that you wear. And uh, at first we thought it was gimmicky, but I wear it a lot now. And people tend to like it. It's a conversation piece. People are always asking me, what is that thing? Where'd you get that? It's actually a couple times we've been out, you've actually broken it off and I actually had to fix some screws and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's I mean, true. seriously, you know. It actually it has saved it's me a couple handy. times. I mean, not saved me. I mean, not a life and death situation. <laughs> but some people want to put a watch on there. And I know they do have a Leatherman Shred version watch, but it's kind of plain Jane nothing spectacular nothing to write home about so a company called chrono links has come out and what they have invented is these little links that allow you to attach most watch heads to the actual tool which i think is cool because then you can have your leatherman you're not having your leatherman and a watch you have two hands you just one bracelet right in your hand right exactly so um and you guys these seem more quality than the leatherman i know I we're mean, checking them yeah, out they do they are really nice machine quality uh links i guess you would call them and they come in black or silver uh really what's cool this stuff thing for that's actually just the case that it came in these are 26 millimeter mil, millimeters oh, the packaging yeah but that's just the package that's how they come so are I mean, they universal can i use it on any watch or do i uh, have to tell them like you hey, have I to got tell them what size watch okay. and they'll tell you yeah okay they cool. pretty much make them for a lot of watches the reason I don't have them on my watch, you guys, right now, is I had a Garmin Phoenix 3 HR, and uh, I don't know if you guys are into watches, but it's, uh, that's the kind of watch I want to keep. But I had to I actually return it because the heart rate was kind of jacked up on it. So I have a temporary watch here, but I'm getting the Garmin Phoenix 5X next month when it comes out, and then I'm going to put the tread back on it. But I kind of want to just throw this on your uh, radar. How much um, is the Garmin 5? It's a lot of money. It's like $900. Wow. Yeah. Did I still, Must be FedEx? nice to be loaded. Did what? It must be nice to be loaded. What do you mean? Nine hundred bucks on a watch. I know, I know, you guys. I don't want to spend it, but I, you know what? Here's the way I look at it. Because I'm gonna start working out and getting healthy. So nine hundred dollars is an emergency room visit or a nice watch. So if I have a nice watch and I start using it, I'll take my chances to go with the emergency room. You think? Wait, before I we would. do that, zoom in on the watch. Let's show them the oh, yeah. Samsung. I still, so got, you guys, I still got mine out of my McDonald's Happy oops, Meal. You got an Apple Watch, man, Mr. Like, I don't have a cool watch. You got yeah, Hold on. All right. This is the Samsung S3, which is a great watch. Um, that is nice. I like that. <laughs> Obviously. there. Can you, can you see it? Yeah. You can change all the faces on it and stuff and do all kinds of cool things with it. Um, you know, and you can turn left and it's got all your messages. Like, there, I have a Snapchat. There I have my garage door closes. It tells that connects to the uh, Royobi system. Um, what was that one? Uh, I have a message from FedEx. They probably got a delivery for me. My ring's telling me there was motion at my front door at that certain time. Uh, UPS delivered a package. Turn a little bit more towards me. Okay. My you go. fitness pal. So it's cool, and you just use this. You, you know, you can close things out. It's touch I like the screen. dial. How you can use the dial to turn yeah. up left and right. I do like it. It's a great watch, but I'm gonna tell you why I don't want to keep it. It's a great watch, dude. And I mean, all these faces are customizable. Here's the weather. I don't know. Barometer. Also does heart rate, so you can do heart rate with it. Um, but it's a nice watch, you guys, and the cool thing about it, too, is it has internal speakers so I can carry a conversation on with it. They, dude, they like Agent 99. What? Like Agent 99. Yeah, Maxwell Smart. Now, here's the thing. Why am I still going with a Garmin Phoenix? Because, yeah. I mean, that's a cool watch. That is nice I looking, love this yeah. watch. I really do. That's cool. Okay. But I have an Apple. Now, it does have an Apple app, and it does work pretty okay with Apple, but you can't get the full, you know, just of Experience. the watch. Yeah, you can't get the full. If you have an Android, you guys, and you're looking for a smartwatch, boom, this thing rocks. What's that cost? 300 Okay. Definitely, you're going to get two days at least battery life. They claim four, but I haven't seen close to four. I get two, roughly two. So you get two days worth of battery life. It's a smartwatch. It does everything with your phone. If you have Android, it opens up the world. You get all kinds of watch faces. It's just so limited with the... Uh, the Apple just the, app. Yeah, just having yeah. the app. Because the app has to be open for it to get weather and stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, you kept asking me what's all that beeping all day. That's my yeah. watch with notifications. Oh, gotcha. 
Um, and you know, a lot of people are like, why do you need a smartwatch? You don't really. I like the heart rate features of it, the workout features of it, and stuff like that. And like I said, if I had an Android phone, I would be keeping this because I think it's a great watch. It's a great deal for the money, but it's just right now, I just really like the Garmin Phoenix. Okay. You know, it's got built in GPS. I don't like $900. But it's much, like, but... it's the last two weeks on a battery. Yeah. yeah, see, that's I don't I don't wear my watch at night, so I just plug it in all the time. Yeah, I, I do for sleep because it'll tell you how you're oh, sleeping. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to get healthy, you guys. I'm getting older, and you know I got high blood pressure, and you know, just because of this guy. It's like when he yep. leaves, man, my blood pressure goes like way low. When you're it here, is. it's like, oh my god, go to the hospital. I know, right? <laughs> it's crazy. I have that effect on people. Yeah. But the cool, one other cool thing about this is they have what's called Samsung Pay, you guys. And uh, you can go up to any car magnetic card reader, and it emits a magnetic signal that gives out your credit so card. So even if it doesn't have that Pay, like the Apple Pay. Right. Okay, as so as I just slide, slide the card, card through? A magnetic reader, you put this to it, and it emits a magnetic oh, signal. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Huh. No wonder my credit cards are out of control. Yeah, I mean, when right? I go buy it, probably... Yeah, no. exactly. But it's a cool watch, you guys, but I'm still going with the Garmin Phoenix, which is a little bigger. But, I mean, this thing would have been perfect with just a little bit more battery life and a lot better compatibility with my iPhone. It is... A Samsung. Yeah, it's, it's the, the same thing with the S3 two talking Frontier. back and forth. They don't really talk back and forth really I well, know, without know? that app. Yeah. And that app is so limited. Like, and there's been a, fa uh, a watch face I've been trying to download for ages, and it just keeps going and going and going, and all oh. of a sudden it fails and gives me crap. On to the next. What do you got? Royobi, they came out with the stud detector. You guys have probably seen a while back, we actually showed the Franklin stud finder, and we love that thing. That one runs about $60. So Royobi came out with their own, which runs, I think, roughly about $20. Same concept, push the buttons, it will calibrate on the wall, and you'll see the LED lights up top. And as you actually are going across the wall, where the LED lights light up, that's where your stud is. Um, you can either mark it with a pencil, they have a cent, uh, center push, so you can just push it, and it kind of makes a little dimple right on the drywall. On the back, there's felt, so as you run it along the, the wall, it doesn't mess up the paint, doesn't leave streaks or anything along that line. Runs off a single A battery or double A battery. Um, <coughs> oh, what do you think of it? Um, I think it's pretty cool, actually, dude. You guys, like, I love the Franklin Stud Sensor. Yes. It's one of the greatest out there, but it's like forty or fifty dollars. Sixty bucks. Sixty bucks. So this is a great alternative to it. Um, and Royal has come a long way over the years. I mean, I like the stuff that they're coming out with. Yeah. Plus, you can just go get this at Home Depot. You don't exactly. have to order it online. But I'm not knocking the Franklin Stud Sensor. I mean, that thing is awesome. But no, not at all. But for the someone who's going to be using a stud. Find her a lot. I'd probably go with the Franklin if I'm using it a couple times a year. I'd Did go you with that talk thing. about the two switches? No, go ahead and oh. talk about those. The only thing that kind of sucks about it is it has two switches here that you have to hold both. So yeah. when you're doing it, both hands have to be on the wall, which is not really that bad. I don't know why they do that. Maybe because they yeah, don't, don't want you why. rocking it. I don't know. But it would be nice to just do one hand so you can reach over and mark. Yep. I mean, it does have the center mark. Does detect AC. Pretty cool yeah. stuff from Royobi. I mean, Royobi's come out with a lot of cool stuff lately. Oh, their line's huge. Honestly, and I'm not BSing you guys, if I had to have one stud finder in my bag, it would be that. Granted, I haven't used it that much, so I haven't used it in different things. I've used it, you know, maybe five times on different walls, and it's been pretty accurate. I mean, it's been accurate. I used it in my basement. I've got a quarter inch plywood. It went through that fine. I've got plaster to work through that. I, not that, I, again, I haven't used it a lot, but on those times I've used it, it was nice. So, all right, what's next on the list? Next on the list, you guys, is Flare DM284. Is that what it is? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, DM284. DM you guys, Flare is known in the industry as having the best thermal imaging technology by far. And that's why they're used by, like, police, fire, military, Government. I mean, all sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, everybody uses so. them. And they're really starting to, you know, come down in price and just get out to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, they... They've gone on the trades and they've they've already had this, you know, test and measurement equipment with their um, uh, multimeters. So they're like, why don't we put a multimeter in with a thermal imager? They call it IGM, Infrared Guided Measurement. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to save the professional hours and hours of time of troubleshooting. What's the biggest problem when you go to an electrical job or something? What's, what's a big indicator that tells you that something's wrong? Heat. Heat. Right, so you can't really tell where that heat is. You know, sure you could take like a, a, one of those laser thermal or laser temperature, temperature gauges, temperature gauges yeah. and move it around and maybe find it. But this right here will give you an entire picture of what's going on with the work you're working on. So you can pinpoint it right away. Um, you just flip this up back here, put it on there, and you're going to be able to get it. Uh, also, it's a fully functional multimeter. Mm -hmm. So I, it does 18 functions. It's got a 10-year warranty on it. It's IP. 10-year warranty? Yeah, That's IP awesome. rated. Has a LED light up there. 
um, so you can see your work. But as you can see right there. And another cool thing is what a lot of people don't know is, let's say you're working on something electrical and water's the culprit, right? Yeah. All of a sudden you start seeing dark blue, you know that's water because water tends to be dark blue mm -hmm. and cold. So that's another thing. You can trace where the water's coming in to the problem that's causing your short. Can save whatever. a lot of time. Yeah. Um, you guys, we definitely, definitely recommend FLIR. I mean, I think FLIR for test and measurement is one of the top tier companies out there. Um, this version comes with four AA batteries. Also, you can get a, a external lithium ion separately battery. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about that is you still have to unscrew the back to put that in. You pull that battery out and the actual USB port is on that battery. So, so if I gotta charge that thing, you're saying I gotta take, even for the rechargeable batteries, I gotta actually take that out? Yes, yeah, so you gotta it unscrew out. it, take it out, and then charge it separately. But I mean, it does last quite a while. So, I mean, depending on your work, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna get, a few days out of it if you keep it on all day i'm sure no problem but you know thermal imaging does take about draw some power mm -hmm. so uh you know the screen on it is just great it's uh you know negative i think they call it negative uh where it's black with white oh gotcha okay. yeah so it's easy to see easy to see in darkness um all kinds of cool stuff you know you just can't go wrong with uh flare with especially flare. the 10-year warranty yeah, 10 year warranty. So this will be the last one you buy for 10 years. And it's not that much more expensive than a really good uh, multimeter. But it's really bulky and good, so I like yeah. it. Definitely check that out, you guys. The FLIR DM284, really cool stuff. I love when they're doing that stuff. I love when they're integrating that technologies into that. I do that. too, yeah, exactly. You know, they have something now too that I kind of wanted to get. It was called like the Scout. I don't know, it's cool, man. It's oh, like, really? Yeah, it's like a monocular. I'll have to talk to him about that because that thing is cool. Basically, uh, I don't know too much about it, but you can use it for hunting or I'm going to use it for boating oh, at yeah. night when you're on the river. Oh, I yeah. Mean, yeah, nothing bypasses heat, man. No, that's pretty cool. That's really yeah. cool to have. Yeah. You guys, next on the list is Isotunes. What do we got with Isotunes, Eric? Basically, uh, they are. there's two versions here. The Bluetooth. Pro and the non-pro. Yeah, Bluetooth. So what's nice is you can hook it up to your phone. Um, and as you know, job sites, other places like that, it's noisy. It's nice to either, uh, they're noise isolating, both of them are, aren't they? Yes. Noise can they're, they're cancellation. They're not cancellating. Not cancel. No. But it's nice. You know, obviously you can listen to music, take phone calls through them, stuff like that. But they're great, not even for the construction, but, it, you know, you can do obviously construction, people who are run or into, like, Dan being healthy and all that, running around. Trying it's nice to, to have. I haven't been running in a while, but. Well, but still, it's nice to have because now you don't have a cord hooked up to your phone. You know, right. actually running with it. And you can answer phone calls and stuff like yes. that on it. And there's two different styles, you guys. Personally, I'm, I don't like this style because it's just hard for me to get in my ears. Those ones fit perfectly and stay in. Eric loves these ones. These ones fit. So you definitely want to yeah. see which style is for you. And um, they have different ear pieces, so you can get ones that, you know, fit your ear. You can make it fit your ear really well. Yeah, I like these ones because they magnet together. That, to me, is cool. Because, like, if I'm, like, you know, listening and then all of a sudden, oh, I got to talk to Eric, boom. They're magneting together. They're not going yeah. anywhere, which is cool. Um, and like I said, you can answer your phone call on this. So you need one button, once it's connected Bluetooth, you can even connect up to two devices. So if you have just an MP3 player that's playing, I mean, I don't know why you'd have an MP3, it's usually your phone. But if you have one device oh, gotcha. and yeah, your phone's okay. a separate device, it'll you could, your phone will ring through on it, which is cool. Oh, that's really cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, 10 hours of battery life, IPX rating of four, which uh, waterproof and sweatproof. Sweat proof. Um, the sound is pretty good, you guys. Um, you know, I'm not going to run home and say, oh, it's awesome sound, but it's good quality sound for sure. I mean, to me, I always think Bluetooth is a little lower than it should be. I always feel like you get... Bluetooth or these type of... All Bluetooth. Okay. Any kind of Bluetooth headsets just always seem a little lower volume than the ones you plug oh, in. To gotcha. me. To okay. me. I don't know. But, granted, you're going to be on a job site, and these do do a good job of keeping the outside, outside noise out and, uh, you know, letting the sound come through. Mm -hmm. So, And the quality construction of these things is great. Plus, you get the case. Plus, you get the extra buds. Yeah. So, you know, this is... This is one of those, you know, you can go on Amazon and buy cheap ones, or you can go ahead and buy these, and this is the quality product, but you're going to see the quality in this, in the quality of the build, just everything. Mm -hmm. So, I agree. Definitely a fan of this. Um, you know, leaf blowing, mowing, all good stuff like that. So, um, and then last but not least, is it, that it? That's it, yeah. Tools from the past, you guys. DCF 610, one of my favorite tools ever. Um, you know, this thing's about six, seven years old now. Have they been out that long? Yeah. Wow. 
That's and a long time. It, it's just awesome, you know. There's no fuel status gauge on here, but it's my number one go-to. I gave an electrician uh, tip on buying one. He bought one. He loves it. He uses it all the time. It's just easy to whip around, easy for overheads. I wish DeWalt would really push and go into a blushless version of this or something like that. But uh, I wish I'd get more into the 12s, yeah. But the grip on it is nice. I don't know. That's what I've always liked about the DeWalts. The grip so you feel comfortable on these things. Especially on the 12 volts, man. When you get yeah. on those 12 volts. And it's like, you know, DeWalt didn't abandon the 12 volt. It's still out there. You can still buy this tool. It's just that they've got more of a test and measurement route, you know, because they feel that their 20 volt stuff is going to be adequate because it's going to be down to the size. Yeah, I guess of everyone's kind of going that way. You're right about that. Yeah, because like Makita, they got the black one. That's 18 volt. Then you're using one battery platform. You're right. Not doing They're 12 like, volts. So, yeah, that's a good volts. point. Yeah. yeah. 12 volts always seem to be the oddball things. When mm -hmm. you think about it, it's like, you know, the only people that really focus on their 12 volt, I feel, is Milwaukee. Yeah, that's all, yeah. You know, I mean, Ingersoll does too. Um, but yeah, everyone's got their 12 volt, but yeah, you're right. Milwaukee's like a little hardcore under their 12 volt. Yeah, they're like. Which is interesting because you do have to have two battery platforms when other people are saying, hey, you know what? Let's just make a smaller tool with technology being the way it is, having one battery. Yeah. But uh, you guys, this thing's been through hell and back, and it's just still holding up, and it's just a beast. And I mean, it feels like. You know when people talk about they don't make tools like they used to. Mm -hmm. When you pick this up, it, it's got weight to it. It's yeah, not lightweight. It yeah. It's like, man, they don't make them like they used to. You know, I mean, right. now I feel if they redid this tool, they would want to make it lighter. Did you engrave TIA in there or something? Yeah, I did actually. That was just yeah. That doesn't TIA. mean it's TIA. They should engrave Dan into it. You guys, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks for tool it. talk. What tools do you guys want to see? Let's get talking. Give yeah. us ideas below. Um, you know. Uh, talk about KC Tool. Let's, they're new to the channel. You know, support mm -hmm. our advertisers, the Lowe's Pro Services and Southwire. Definitely check them out because um, that's what helps us film Tool Talk and bring it to you. Yep. And, uh, you know, we're just two guys in the garage that try to bring all you guys into the garage with us. You know, we're not experts by any means, but it's great to just get a community going. And that's what Tools that's what Next is all about. about. And that's what we were talking about the other day. It's like Tools Next is just such a cool community. Yeah. You know, it's not about like, oh, we're doing this, we're doing that, you know, we're in our, you know, whatever. It's, you know, it's just such a cool community. We've met tons of cool people. You guys are great. Um, and, you know. Yeah, and speaking about community, go go over to, you can go to toolsinaction.com. Um, a lot of stuff over there. Go to the Power Tool Forum. Guys, every month we're giving away a tool in 2017. You guys get to pick. Great people over there. We're going to be doing some other things with the forum this year, too, in terms of giveaways. So even if you're just new to it, you still have a chance to win stuff. So don't feel like you don't. So there's going to be some cool things going on with that. Right. And uh, we're still planning that barbecue at Eric's house. We are. That's going to be <laughs> July 4th, I think. And it's going to be open to everybody, Everybody, man. We're going to see how many. You know what? We should do a meetup. I've been telling but you that for a years. A lot of people don't come to Chicago. No, Let's talk still, meetups. Who would come to a meetup? Write it below. And where should we meet up? I would think Chuck E. Cheese. That's a little Wouldn't it be class, funny? Man. All these tool That's... guys showed up at Chuck E. Cheese. Well, they do have beer. The moms though. would be like grabbing their kids and be like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, guys, honestly, do it. Because I know there's a lot of people from, we got people from Wisconsin. We've got people from, obviously, Illinois, stuff around here. And I know some people actually travel in here, so... Let yeah, but we'd have to man. do it all at one time. Well, well, obviously, but it would be cool just to have the TA, TA get together. Up. We go there, like, one person shows up, Reggio Bit. <laughs> <laughs> just shows up. What's up, hey, guys? Yeah. Yeah. That would be fun. You guys, check it out, Tools in Action. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to comment. Tools in Action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com. <laughs>